Hi everyone, welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today I'm here to introduce you to our new bikini pattern top, Snowflake. And you are wondering why is she wearing a swimsuit if she is presenting a bikini pattern top? Well, I will explore that in the near future because I'm preparing a sew along so that you can convert your bikini pattern top snowflake into a swimsuit. But let's start with the bikini top. Uh, so the bikini has an underwire included and it's uh, styled as a balconette bra. So you can also sew it as a bra, but I will go there also in a few seconds. Uh, and you can uh, wear it as a bandeau, so with no straps. Or in this case, I have improvised and used the straps from uh, Bikini Pattern Top Winter. And they are a bit small for the pattern, but this actually is very comfortable because it's uh, with here on the shoulder area. And I really love it. I really love how they look. I've got to pop up an image so that you can see how it looks on the body. This it has a clasp. It has a clasp on the back, so it's easy to put on and uh, to take off. And it, the lower cups ha have a vertical seam, and then you have uh, an upper cup with an horizontal seam here that combines the upper cup with the lower cups. And I think this is a very nice pattern. You, I have sewn this and made the tutorial so that I hide the seams on the top edge of the top and also on the back. So all the edge on the upper edge of your bikini has no uh, stitches visible. So this is actually a very nice pattern. And let me now show you how you can also sew this as a bra. So as a bra, I have made uh, at least two experiments that I want to share with you. And the first one is a bandeau with lace, which is this one, and you have the sew, sew along available. And uh, it is lined inside, it has no foam. This is sheer, uh, this is, I'm sorry, uh, stretch satin. And I have the sheer of the, um, of the satin glowing on the inside here. And then of course you have the underwire here. And on the outer side, you have the lace applied with the little scallop here on the, on the top edge. Uh, I'm going to show you in detail. I have also sewn this so that this edge here of the stretch satin has no seam visible. And then I just secured the lace with some small stitches here and there. And so I think they look pretty nice. On the back here, I have also, just like um, I showed you on the bikini, I don't have any seam visible on the top edge here. And this one is missing the hook and eye because I didn't have the matching color to place it, but I need to sew it and finish it. And this is, as I told you, sewn as a, a bandeau. Now let me show you the same pattern with no lace and with straps. This is the version where I have included some huge differences from the other one. First of all, I had the hook and eye in black, so I finished the bra. And then uh, instead of uh, making the back edge here with no seam visible, I actually applied the elastic and you can see here uh, the very beautiful elastic on the edge here. But then I did a lot of different things. First of all, I included foam cups, cut and sew foam that I have sewn and you have that on the sew along so that you can also do it at home. So I built the uh, cut and sew foams and then I used stretch satin again and built my, my cups. Uh, I included the strap, which you can see here with, with uh, adjustable um, rings and sliders on the back here. Uh, and finally, just I was almost forgetting, as you can see, I have applied the wire channeling on the outside. So instead of the wire being inside the bra as usual, here I applied the underwire on the outside, which I, which I think achieves a very interesting look. And finally, I also want to show you, I'm sorry I was with my shades all video. 
Uh, I also want to show you this one. This one was one of my first tests for, the, for this pattern, but the color, I, I think it's beautiful, despite it was, it's not finished and the finishes are very bad, but I'm gonna show you anyway so that you can see uh, what I did here. On the lower edge here, I used uh, the elastic and then to give a pop-up of color on the lower part. And then here I used a lot of elastic so you could really see the orange uh, against the reds on, on the edge there. But then, of course, I didn't thought this well, and so I didn't extend this. I can also place a ring here if I want and then put the straps, but well, I don't think this is perfect, so I don't think I'm gonna wear it. But I wanted to show you insides because it, uh, this one I made using a power mesh, strong power mesh. Uh, for the cups, you should use a stabilizer fabric with no stretch, uh, especially for the larger cups, but this was um, made for myself and so the power mesh for me is just enough I don't need to use the stabilizer here so I use the power mesh of course the center here for the bridge and the cradles so all this area here is stabilized with the red stabilizer fabric which has no stretch at all um, but you can see all of this uh, again available on the sew alongs and uh, finally, I just want to talk to you one more thing before we go. I know this is a long video, but I'm really excited about this pattern because I want to prepare some sew along so that you can learn how to then transform your bikini pattern top snowflake into this swimsuit, for instance, that I'm wearing today uh, using our bikini pattern top and any swimsuit you have at home. I will probably try to match it with one of the swimsuits from Bikini Design Club so that you can match patterns and transform uh, and create your own swimsuit. Of course, who creates a swimsuit also can create a corset, right? So I will be preparing along the time as soon as I can. I will be preparing so along so that you can also at home transform your bikini pattern top snowflake into a swimsuit or who knows a zipper on the back and a corset on your waist maybe with a flounce the idea is here well i hope you like this new pattern and uh, let me know if you have any questions and i hope to see you soon bye girls <laughs>